I'm Dr. Steve Harrell. Uh, I've a practicing periodontist for many years. Uh, I also have a, a background in uh, epidemiology, a master's degree in microbiology, and I've also taught at uh, uh, Baylor College of Dentistry, Texas A&M, uh, for the last 30 years. Uh, I have been asked to talk about uh, the disinfectant of loops and some of the things that uh, uh, you should do when using loops. Number one, you should not reach up during a procedure and adjust your loops. You should put your loops in a position uh, as close as you can to where you want them to be and then don't touch them because they will be splattered with uh, material from the patient which has a high probability of having some amount of virus, microbacteria, etc. When you are finished, what you want to do is terminally disinfect your loops. And the way you do that, uh, typically uh, you, will, you, may, you may wash your gloves or still have your gloves on, take off your loops, use some type of anti uh, bacterial wipes. In this instance, uh, cavicide is relatively widely available and used in dental offices, but there are many others that can be used. And you need to wipe the entire loop. That means the earpiece, the lens, the nose piece, and then you need to place those to one side and let them air dry which usually will take in the neighborhood of 30 seconds to a minute. Don't wipe them off. Uh, you want the, the material to stay there because it takes a period of time to do that. That has been shown to be quite effective in removing bacteria uh, and killing bacteria on loops. I would refer you to an article in the Journal of American Dental Association from August of 2019 that shows that. Uh, so you can assume that they are very close to free of microbiology material, microbiologic material. The likelihood is at that point, before you go to your next patient, is that you will want to take some type of lens cleaning solution and remove any film that might be on the lens itself. And then set your loops aside at that point and uh, don't use them again, keep them in a clean place where they will not be sprayed. And then the next time you use them, place them on your head, get them well adjusted before you put your gloves on, then put your gloves on and don't touch the loops after that.